Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Another earthquake late last night there in Kansas. Did you feel it? It had a shallow depth of about 6.7 miles, so it was felt over a very wide area. Earthquakes of a magnitude 2.5 to a 2.9 were often perceived in the immediate vicinity, but rarely caused damage. This earthquake occurred at 7.50 p.m. local time. Yeah, some said there was a quick jolt. Others said there was swaying of some objects. Others reported brief trembling. Uh, windows, maybe some dishes were rattling. There's been a lot of earthquakes within uh, this area of Kansas of late, and I've been reporting them all. The largest in this area recently was a magnitude 3.2. Back in 1989, they did have a 4.0, and Kansas is capable of having a magnitude 6 or greater. It used to be all the way up until about 2013. Kansas only saw maybe one earthquake a year, but because of fracking and also because of plate tectonic movement, yeah, they have been increasing around the world, getting larger and more frequent. Many of you that do follow me remember all the earthquakes that are reported down here by the reservoir. Um, the most recent was a 3.5 that USGS revised um, to a 3.1. Uh, but there was also another 3.5 in that location. People that have lived there for a long time probably remember when earthquakes never occurred or seemed to never occur and are not earthquake prepared. There are things, and they're cheap, that you can do to make your home earthquake safe. You know, you can buy straps to bolt your flat screen TVs to the walls. Um, get museum putty to uh, attach your knickknacks so they don't go flying off. Remove things above the couch um, or above your bed. If there's a large quake, you don't want it falling on top of you. Secure your cupboards or cabinets um, to the walls. Um, secure your hot water heater to studs in your home. Have an emergency kit of food, water, and medication. In Plainville, there in Kansas, they reported a quick shake um, in their bed seemed to shake back and forth about two seconds. 16 miles uh, from the epicenter of, of last night's earthquake in stock, they said that um, they felt it too, but it only made the bed shake, oh, maybe for about three seconds. In haze, they said they felt a, fight, um, a faint vibration. Now, haze is about 25 miles southwest of the epicenter. This earthquake occurred in an area that they consider um, a stable location. They're not supposed to have earthquakes because there's no plate boundary. So it would be classified as an intra-plate earthquake. As of late, there's been reactivation of ancient faults. Um, this quake lies, lies near the central Kansas uplift where tension has built up because of the uh, gradual compression of the different faults. We got them, some of them over here. I got drawn out in red and yellow. The largest earthquake they've had so far this year was a magnitude 3.3 in Ricks County. That was on September of this year. Because of the different uh, changes that are happening with our Earth, um, and I've talked about how the earthquakes are increasing, um, Kansas now sees anywhere between 150 and 170 earthquakes every year, but most of them are below a magnitude 3.0. Oh, I forgot all about the magnitude 3.6 that they had in May of this year. Geologists say that a magnitude 6.0 is possible for Kansas, and they do occur Oh, about every 2,000 years. So I don't know. It's been increasing and increasing. Um, I hope you don't have a large one there. 
Um, if you did, I would probably feel it where I live. So are you earthquake prepared? Put your comments down below. Did this quake startle you? Did you feel it? Did things rattle in your home? Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please put your comments down below. Always be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.